So there's been eight Rocky films in the Rocky franchise, including Creed 1 and Creed 2. Correct. We're going to rank them for you for what we think, what he thinks, the best ones. There might be some right battling. So Creed 2 just hit theaters. We just checked it out. If you want to check out our review, it's probably up around here somewhere check or down it below. It's somewhere. Watch it and then come back here and check out what we thought was the best of the Rocky franchise. Beginning with the worst film, what do you think is? Everyone take a guess. What do you think the it worst film? It can't Rocky be anything else. It literally can't be. Rocky uh... 5. It's a piece of turd. Yeah. It has to be one of the worst Rocky films by well, it far. It is the worst Rocky film by far. Well, sure, sure. But like, there's nothing supporting that film to make it good. No. Tommy Gunn is like the worst character of all time. It's so different from the other films. It 100% yeah. is. It, they, it feels like this was that, that, that the, the Rocky Five was their first kind of real try to try and start something different yeah. in the Rocky franchise. Almost like their first attempt at Creed. Yeah, yeah. But it failed on so many parts the for me. The street fighting is weird. The Don King character is weird. I don't care about Tommy Gunn. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I feel yeah. like that whole like storyline like, I don't care really about. It's really Rocky. It's, it's in the same way that he's kind of like a... He's not really fighting him. He just kind of gets ticked off and takes yeah, him out yeah. in the street. Yeah. I'm going to fight me in the street. <laughs> when have we ever seen Rocky Balboa fight in the streets? It, like, it's not something like you go, oh, yeah, he used to fight in the streets in the like, first movie. It's like the tagline <laughs> of the movie, Rocky takes to the streets. Like, it's like, nah, why? Not my cup of tea. No. Rocky five, you're right at the bottom. So, number seven, what do we got? Rocky three. Yeah, sorry, guys. I know there's probably a lot of uh, thunder lips. Is that I'm it full. <laughs> Our fans out there and uh, Thunder Lips? Yes, that's Hulk Hogan and Rocky Three. Oh, right. <laughs> what are you talking about? Mr. T, uh, obviously. Mr. T. What is his name? Um, Clubber Lang. Yeah, Clubber Lang. Uh, but I think this is the start, I think, where there's the like, Rocky movies kinda of get kinda of cartoony. Yeah, he starts taking on, you know, whatever he can. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's first the big big strong guy, then it's the Russian, then he takes on the world, then yeah. he takes on space. Yeah. And that's how they came up with Predator. You yeah. know, he'd fight in everyone in the world, so now he's gonna take on the thing from space. Um, but yeah, Rocky Three, Clubber Lang, Hulk Hogan. But yeah, I didn't love that movie. Yeah, the it's, whole commercial sequences yeah, where he's trying is to. Is that what he's in the Tiger Cage? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. No, not for me. But not for Mickey, me. bit of a yeah, a bit of a sad moment yeah. for Mickey. But it's it, yeah. If I'm ranking, you know, the, these films, like, it kind of sits towards the bottom of the pile. Yeah, yep. Number six has to be. Probably Creed 2. Creed 2. Creed 2. Like, it's not a bad thing. It's a good spot to be in. It's a very strong franchise, but it yeah. doesn't stand out enough to me to, to rank it higher, I yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah. The thing you have to know about the Rocky franchise, I, I, the, I can say, is all of the movies are awesome. If you like you know, good sports yeah. movies, you can't go past the Rocky it, franchise. It, so saying something is bad in or, yeah. or in lower in the ranks yeah. in this, this franchise, it's not a bad thing. And They're if, all good movies. If this was like another sports franchise, it'd probably have a good chance. But these Rocky movies are really consistently yeah, pretty yeah. solid. So yeah. Yeah. that's just what it is. Yeah. How it is. It's Creed worth two. checking out in theaters. It is. It is. Um, it's worth checking out. It's a good film. It's fun. Yeah. Uh, return of some great characters. But overall, it doesn't beat many of the Rocky films no. that are out there. Sorry, Creed 2. Yeah. <laughs> Number five. Uh, probably Creed 1. Oh, sorry, Creed. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, you, you, you together, so you get yeah, support. Yeah, yeah, you can so, hang out. Yeah, you can hang so, out. that's all right. Michael B. Jordan versus Michael B. Jordan. Look, look, that's probably going to be Creed 3. Yeah. Michael oh, B. Jordan versus Michael B. Jordan, he's right? He's shadowboxing, literally. Yeah, exactly. They get one of those holograms that brings back the dead pop stars. Well, they have to do something, and, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the uh, holograms. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking yeah, yeah. about. That would be pretty funny. Um, I think there's a really... Creed, uh, I guess, was a really good start to try and reinvigorate that franchise and yeah. keep Rocky as part of it. I think it was awesome. I think it's one of those great ideas that someone must have just had and just said, yes, that's exactly what's happening. Yeah. Obviously, Robert isn't going to take the franchise no. over by doing a finance movie yeah, yeah. about how he beats up the finance. Dun, 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 that's Rocky's dun, 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 son, if you didn't pick up on that. Dun, 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 but yeah, the time really We could have got a, like, another... Um, Wolf of Wall Street almost uh, yeah, style yeah, movie, yeah. which kind of would be cool, but yeah, that wasn't going to happen. No. So Creed was a great idea, really well executed, very good film, but in the Rocky franchise overall, it doesn't beat yeah. again the rest of the Rocky films it's we're about to talk about. Correct, and I think to me, it's like I love that Rocky character. Sloane is amazing, and he's really good as a sporting actor in that role. But I want to see him as the lead. Uh, absolutely, like, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And number four, well, back to the Rocky films. Yeah, it is. Rocky Balboa? Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I, okay, I'll, I'll take you on that one. Uh, this was a surprise, right? Because everyone thought, like, this dude's, like, super old. Yeah. How can he get in the ring? But it was really good. Like, it was sensational. Yeah. I love that movie. And it's one of those things where you're just like, God damn, Rocky V sucked. Yeah, yeah. Leaving such a fantastic franchise on such a, a crap note 
had to be something in Rocky's mind or Steven Spencer Sloan's uh, mind that he was just like, I need to do something different. I need to bring it back. And he had just brought back um, John, Rambo. John Rambo with Rambo 5. Was that before that? Rambo 4. Yeah, I feel like that was before. But I tell you what the thing is. with the, the, Either me, way. The, with me, with Rocky Balboa, like, that was 2006, I think. Think about that being the, one of the first movies where they tried to reboot or re-sequelize like a movie from the 80s. Mm. And think of how many of that shit we've seen since. Yeah. Like, uh, that movie did such a good job trying to bring back all those characters and those people that you love um, and, and really just put Rocky back in the spotlight again. And what everyone thought was going to be a stinker was bloody awesome. So. Yeah. Look, I, I absolutely love Rocky Balboa. I yeah. think it's really well-crafted, really well-directed film, really well-written film. Uh, even... Um, bringing in stuff like um, Paulie was yeah. awesome. Yeah, you know, yeah. He wasn't that hateable in that movie. Yeah. But he was still kind of that dick. Yeah. Not bringing back Talia Shire as Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> I did say Andre about six times prior to this. Um, you know, it was a really, I think, a good idea yeah. for me. She's not the best character, I think, no, in the Rocky but, and, franchise, and but it, she's fine. And it adds weight to Rocky and his decisions and whatnot and where he is at life, I think. Yeah. And so, yeah, like maybe a hard decision for Talia Shire's acting career, but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, if she still has one. But, I think the uh, last movie she did prior to that was Rad, from memory. Remember the, Rad? That, that, the BMX movie. VHS Hells yeah! yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it's a, it's really solid. It tries to bring those family values that we can see continuing to like Creed movies. But yeah, yeah, it's really good time and probably the most surprising out of all the Rocky films for for how good it really was. Now this is where me and me and Scoot here are going to start differing um, because the third movie is going to set us apart. Yeah. I feel like. Yeah. I'm coming in and saying Rocky 2. What are you going to say? I'm going to say Rocky 4. Oh, that cuts me deep. That burns uh, well, me so hard. Well, vice versa, my friend. But I understand. But I understand. Vice versa. So for me, Rocky 4 is like, if Rocky 3 was the start of getting cartoony, Rocky 4 is literally the, the cartoon. cartoon. <laughs> like, it's it's literally, let's throw everything patriotic we can at this. We're going to... It's so dude. good, though. <laughs> the opening of the movie is two boxing gloves oh, punching and exploding. <laughs> you can't beat that. That is but the like, ultimate cheese. Even, it's like, so good. Even, like, training in the barn with the yeah, snow. Yeah, so good. With the beard? Stallone oh, with the beard? I'm sorry. Come sorry. on. My favourite part... Paulie's robot, the yeah. thing that is literally the most character, <laughs> the cartooniest thing alive. It's, um, it's, it's pretty much the 80s. That, that yeah, is one of the very, most 80s yeah. movies ever. And I, I think, think that, out of all the movies, that's the one that I think is dated the most because of that, to some degree. 100%. Yeah. It's really unfortunate. But look, I love Rocky IV. I think it has so much um, style and stuff to it that I really love. The 80s, I'm big, I'm big yeah. on the 80s, and that movie has I, it all over it. If I, I must say, days. it probably does have the best training montage of all the movies. It has, I'm pretty sure if I've counted five training yeah, okay. montages in that movie, which is ridiculous. I, I like the one that cuts to like Rocky in the Snow and then it cuts to Drago and he's like in a smoke field. Oh like, yeah, that's gym. a training training montage. That's, that's the, the score in that is Vince DiCola's it, training montage. Yeah, yeah, right. Vince DiCola, I know you're out there. Keep composing. One day you'll come back. Yeah. You're going to have your shining light, the day in the sun, the ultimate movie for Vince DiCola. I'm going nowhere, but I love that guy. Uh, so, and you said Rocky 2. Yeah, Rocky 2. Look, Rocky 2 for me, it's it's the rematch uh, that everyone wanted because Rocky 1 was awesome, yeah. Academy Awards all around yeah. kind of thing. And, you know, where was that story going to go? Obviously, Rocky had to win to, can you, to keep the story going. Correct. But it was almost just a rehash of Rocky 1. It didn't, for me, it didn't bring too much more to the yeah. franchise. Like, it, it, it obviously did with Rocky getting married to um, Talia Shire. Yeah. But... See, that's where you see Rocky 2 is my favorite because I think it is very similar to the first movie, but he fucking wins at the end, yeah. part of my French. <laughs> he and, does what you wanted yeah, to happen in the exactly. first one. Exactly, so right. I, like, I love that. Yeah. I love that. It's like, because he's gotten through all that first movie and then he's finally win. And that, that's, that's why that's it's my enough. number one. That's I think. fair enough. But, like, yeah. yeah, look, it's just, for me, it's, it's the same movie all over again. Uh, it has some cool moments in it. I, it's a great movie all around. Yeah. Don't forget, we love all these movies, yeah. but overall, I think that it kind of. It was a rehash of the first movie, so again, for me, Fair it enough. didn't sit that well. No worries. Um, so, Rocky number two, two, I think we can agree on then. Is Rocky one? Yeah, Rocky one. Yeah! The Rocky original. One. And some people would say the best. Yeah. It, it's awesome. I mean, how can you go past Rocky? It's fantastic. I think for me, the reason why it gets set down lower than Rocky four for me, and I know you're going to say Rocky two. Yeah, yeah. The reason why it gets set lower is because it came out at a time where I wasn't alive, and I was born around the same time as Rocky four I came out, it. right? Yeah. And so that that's what. I saw first. I saw Rocky IV first, and Rocky IV had everything that I loved about yeah. the '80s. So I kept, I kept that love going on. Whereas Rocky, now I've seen so many times 
that I don't feel like I really need to see it again because he doesn't win. He doesn't have that celebratory. Yeah. It's not as and, rewatchable. And it's, it's so ingrained in pop culture, right? Like the music, him running up the stairs, yeah. all that stuff, right? Is just iconic imagery, but you know, it, it doesn't prove to be as rewatchable because of that. You see it everywhere. Yeah. You see it referenced everywhere. And every other movie too. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. I, obviously a very strong film. It's Great like number movie. two. Great movie. Yeah, it's number two. So don't forget, but I'm just saying the reasons why we don't Correct. like it as much as the uh, original one born choice. is potentially not the best. That's right. Yes. That's right. So it's what is the best, movie. sir? I will say Rocky IV. And I'll say Rocky II. So that's we, fine. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. Uh, no, uh, look, Rocky IV, I think, for me, as I keep saying, all about the 80s, uh, the Ivan Drago hatred and Apollo Creed dying. Spoilers if you didn't know that. It came out in 1984, so suck a fat one. Uh, but uh, how many people comment in these things and say you are spoiling movies? That movie is so old. Relax. Anyway, so, but yeah, Rocky Rocky IV, Apollo dies, really big hit to the franchise. He's been alive for the first... Big the hit first, to Apollo, too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, first four movies, and uh, that was a big death. Like, Mickey dying in the third movie was was big, yeah. but not as big as Apollo no. Creed dying against Ivan Drago. And, and like, there's a lot of personal, you know, because Rocky could have stopped that fight. Exactly. Like, the town. And, and that moment, you kind of feel for Rocky. He's just lost his best mate. Yeah. His wife's like, don't get in that fight. And he's like... Nah, woman, I gotta get in this fight. I gotta That's get in this fight with this yeah, this guy, and yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, and he's got to win. And like, you wanted to cheer him on as a yeah, as yeah. a as a, a viewer. Yeah. And I'm sure at the time, America oh, watching yeah. this movie versus the country that they hated at the time, yeah. Russia. It would have been a momentous occasion. Yeah, the Cold War stuff is probably what dates it the most, I think, because and like the robot is yeah, what uh, dates so, it the most. The uh, robot, but the robot's lovable. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's very much a, a movie of its time, and it's probably less impactful now if you're just jumping onto it now. Yeah. I think, but yeah, uh, yeah it's very much of its time. I think. And I think if you like soundtracks, though, for not for scores, but for soundtracks with songs. It, yeah, that, Hearts that, on Fire is pretty good. Hearts on Fire, No Easy Way Out by oh, Robert yeah. Temper. Yeah. Um, Survivor, two tracks with Eye of the Tiger and yeah, um, Hearts on Fire. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah good, great soundtrack. Good soundtrack. And yeah, for me, Rocky Two, as I said, it's all about the win. I think for me, and just yep. to finally see him going and get up on top of that yeah. that podium after going through like two whole movies. Because like, I don't think the ending of like I get the whole going the distance like that's a big deal, but it's not winning. No. So to me, him getting up, finally winning, yep. I think is really, really remarkable. And momentous. what a shot yeah. in that win. Yeah, like yeah. them both going down. Epic. Um, what a franchise. And I think Rocky 2 also had a really cool poster. Now, not the one that I'm talking about, him on the ropes, kind of yeah. like this, but the 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 the, um, the match, like the, the Apollo Creed versus Rocky Balboa, the big yellow poster. Yeah. That's a cool poster. For coming out from the late 70s, I'm going to say early 80s. Yeah. Don't, get me, don't quote me on the dates. Uh, that was a cool post for back then. It almost yeah. feels like something that would come out today for a movie like that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's our that's our take on the top films in the Rocky franchise. But what are your takes? Please what, what let do us you know. Guys think? What's your number one? What's your number worst? Do you like number Rocky worst. Five? That's a number, right? That's yeah, a number. Yeah, that's no number one worst. likes Rocky Five. If you <laughs> like Rocky Five, please let us know. I'm gonna leave a comment right at the top that says, "Do you like Rocky Five? If you put yes in that. I don't know what to say. We're looking for you, Tommy Gunn. Is that his name? Tommy, yeah, Tommy Gunn. Gunn. In the comments. Oh, I don't know if that guy's guy. alive anymore. But uh, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Is anyone from that movie alive? Cause yeah, yeah. Uh, King, I know it's not Don King, right? No, but, but um, um, uh, what's his name? Frank something. He's from uh, The Thing and stuff. Uh, Charles. Mm. In the David. Thing. Oh, David Car Keith. David. David. David Keith. David Keith. Yeah, okay. David Keith. We got there. We got there. He's still alive. Yeah, he's yeah. cool. He's a good actor. Anyway, Rocky franchise, that's what we thought. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like Rocky Five, well, we've got some stuff to say about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. The worst movie of all time, yeah, probably. Yeah, it's, it's not great. It's not good at all. I don't know what they were thinking about with that movie, but they didn't think much. And that's what we got. Thank you. All right, until next time, we'll catch you nerds. At the movies. At the movies. <laughs>